Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good evening, everybody. I usually don't come to you this late. Usually I'm, I'm on my way home by now. But the reason I have decided to stay back and share something with you that, to be very frank and honest with you, is a very serious issue. I was saying in my earlier broadcast that there's nothing about what we're about to talk about that is quaint. There's nothing about this that is cute. There's nothing about this that is fluffy. What we're talking about is pedophilia. We're talking about pedophilia and um, not pedophilia, pedophilia. We're talking about a man that hides under a thin veneer of Christianity. And yet everything about him, everything around him speaks of a sexual deviant, a sexual predator in a conclave, in a building, in an edifice, in a church that he has full control over. Every member is, subs is subservient to him. Every member bows to him. Every member in that church does his bidding. And, and, and nobody within that circle of church members dare challenge him or say anything to him. Now let me bring you up to speed. A few minutes ago, as I was saying, I saw a videotape, and I will share this after this broadcast. I'll post it on here, and I'll, I'll have you see it for yourself. As many of you know, a man called John General, he's a cult leader that has a church in Matero constituency, has recently been arrested and charged with the offense of rape. The story was that he had gone to see a married woman in her matrimonial home, in, in, in her matrimonial bedroom. The woman claims that he tried to rape her. When her husband showed up, this man, John General, he goes by the name of John General, fled, leaving behind his clothes, his shoes, and his vehicle. Upon close examination, it was ascertained, it was determined that indeed that was his car and those were his clothes. After this news broke, many people, this caused a bit of a, a controversy on social media because there were people that supported John General. There were people that were anathema to John General, like myself, because I know this type of character. I've seen it many, many times. It's plain as day. It doesn't even take a genius to figure it out. You don't even have to be a, a psychologist to understand what is plainly in front of you. The great Maya Angelou once said that when people show you who they are, believe them. When people show you their character, when people expose their true nature of who they are at the core, believe them. And, and, and for, for, for days we've been saying that John General is a sexual predator, that he's a sexual deviant, that he uses his church members, his female congregants, he just picks them out. People like Kings Malembe came out in full defense of John General. Kings Malembe made the most ridiculous, the most foolish statement I've ever heard in my life. He, he comes on social media and says, oh, I've just seen John General. And John General told me that my brother 
that was a, that was a trap that I placed myself in but thank God God made a way of escape for me to get away trying to legitimize a crime and using the Bible to cover it using scriptures like nobody's perfect you can't judge well we're not, we're not judging all we're asking is for people and members in society to take full responsibility of their actions it doesn't mean just because you claim you're a man of God that you can do whatever the heck you want simply camouflage it simply shroud it simply cover it in a few scriptures and think that you're gonna get away with it you won't get away with it why because that is a crime and so here tonight before I left my office, I was going through my newsfeed, and I came across a video, a very disturbing video. And, and, and guys, please hear me when I tell you that we are dealing with a very serious issue. I cannot overemphasize that point enough. I've just been watching a video clip, video footage on my friend's page, Kalembe. You know Kalembe. And it shows John General on his church property or at a venue that you can clearly see that he is in full control of and he's the center of attention. He's sitting on, a, on a, an unfinished structure that I would assume has to do with a, build, a church building project. And he's drinking a traditional drink from a plastic from a plastic bottle and then all of a sudden a little girl a little a toddler this child can't be any more than oh i'd say more than she can't be more than four or five years old a little pretty little girl runs over to him his his legs are open she stands in front of him and he begins to talk to the little child and then he looks up and he sees the mother of the child a young girl and you can tell that the mother is a young teenager uh, or she had the child when she was very young she doesn't look like a middle-aged woman or she looks like she clearly looks like a young mother the, the girl the mother can't I, can't, I don't think she's more than 25 years old, if that. John General sees the mother of this toddler. He motions for the mother to come over and sit beside him. And you can see the way he's looking at the mother. He's sizing her up. And here's one of the telltale signs of a, a pedophile a person that is a sexual predator especially in the church one of the first questions they ask you is where are your parents the reason they ask you that is they want to know if you have a father figure in your life mostly uh, sexual predators in the church especially cult leaders that want to pray p-r-e-y that want to 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 vanquish uh, a young females in their church one of the first things they do is that they go after the girls that have no father figure girls that come from dysfunctional homes girls that don't have a strong male figure in the home because that sexual predator knows that if this young girl does not have a strong father male figure in the home and somebody that speaks into her life it's very easy for the sexual predator to play on the mind of such girls so John General calls over calls the girl she sits down now remember this is a child that is totally unrelated to John General this isn't his grandchild it's it's not his niece the girl is completely unknown to him you can clearly see that from the exchange from the conversation he was he was asking her who she was and where she's from and 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 then he says you know is this your child she says yes and he says I want to look at the child he he he, he compels the child the toddler 
who's standing in between his legs. He compels the child to look up at him. And from nowhere, John General says to the little toddler, kiss me. Now, it's one of the most, it's one of the sickest, most disturbing videos I've seen in a whole decade. And I've been shocked, disgusted, and dismayed at some of your comments. There are people on that, on, on Kalemba's page in the comment section, actually saying, oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's, he's a good man. John General proceeds to kiss a toddler, a female toddler that is unknown to him, that is unrelated to him, proceeds to kiss a toddler on her mouth. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? And you have the audacity you have the gall, you have the unbridled gall, you unenlightened, ignorant, lost sheep. Some of you have the gall to say, oh, that's cute, that's so sweet. Everybody in that video that was standing around watching this this horrific incident was looking upon John General as the so-called man of God that was imparting upon the child some form of sexual blessing. And, and this is what happens when you have a compound, a sect, you know the word sect, a group, a brainwashed brainwash, group that is under the tutelage, that is under the, the, the influence of a man that calls himself a man of God, when really, when you pull back the curtains, you see very clearly that this man is a sexual predator. My brothers and sisters, tonight, as I sit here talking to you, I encourage, I admonish the police based upon that video alone to rearrest this man for sexually assaulting a toddler, a child, a minor. This is more than sexual assault. This is more than pedophilia. This is a brand of perversion that in his mind, he thinks there's nothing wrong with it. And this is one of the most indicative things about, about sexual predators in the church. Is because he feels he's answerable to no one. Because he feels nobody will question him. Because he feels that everything he does will be looked at through the lens of the Bible. He believes that. He believes that everybody will assume that all of his intentions are pure. All of his intentions are godly. When we know good and well that he is grooming that child, not only that child, but he's grooming the mother of that child. I, I guarantee you, in the same way that he sexually assaulted that toddler, the same way he's planning, if he hasn't done it already, is planning to sexually assault that young mother and many other women in that church like her. I warn you, my brothers and sisters, let's, let's stand in the gap. And GOCC, you need to do what you're supposed to do. This is, you need to step up to the plate. Police, you need to get after this man and you need to catch him. Take him to trial. Rid our society of this vermin the sexual predator because if you don't do it I guarantee you worse is to come worse is to come the writing is on the wall the signs are in, in, in front of us plain as day don't look at this issue with your eyes wide shut look at it for what it is and I repeat in closing I repeat 
Maya Angelou once said, when people show you who they are, believe them. Believe them. Believe them. Good night. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.